I've done work as a medicine person for decades now, running ceremonies and taking care of the community, working as a spiritual leader. Some of these plants help us to relax. Some of these plants energetically support us. Some of these plants uh, energetically strengthen our prayer. When we use smoke of any sort, tobacco, whatever smoke we're using, and we're using it ceremonially, we don't inhale it. We take it into our mouth and we blow it out. The idea is to give strength to our prayer. So that's what the smoke is doing. It's carrying our prayer up to the Creator. So we can use plants to nourish our bodies in different ways and including to heal our bodies. But we also, there's also this energetic property that comes with the plants. When we abuse that, then what it does is it can make us sick. Some tobaccos and some brands specifically target native communities with the intent of giving the impression that it's ceremonial. And what happens with that is people end up rolling, rolling their own cigarettes and smoking it and feeling somehow or the other that they're being ceremonial, they're being spiritual, or they're, they're talking to God. But smoking a cigarette every five and ten minutes, that's not ceremony. And our ancestors didn't do that. Ceremony is a declaration to whatever you believe in, to God, to the spirits, but it's also a declaration to the community. This is how I'm going to move forward. That's ceremony. Harming your body is not power. So selling this false notion that somehow or the other putting a cigarette to your lips is being powerful, it's the contrary. You've been subjugated. The real revolution is to say no. I will not do that to myself because that's how you would like to continuously harm me. I'm going to do something different and I'm going to instead do something for myself, for my family and for my community.